Good evening. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Yeah, evening scrapping. Signs. Sign, sign, everywhere a sign. Do this, don't do that. Can't you read the sign? Those are, are those really bullet holes in that? No, it's corrosion. Yeah, so construction ahead. Why is the aluminum deteriorated like that? I don't, I've never seen oxidation take over like that. Wow. Huh. Wow, that's so pitted. Hmm. All right, well, I'm grabbing it anyway. That wasn't fun. I got dirt all over me. That is the fluffiest piece of metal. All right, I'm gonna leave this for the next scrapper to come by, because it's evening, so the uh, garbage man's not gonna stop by and grab that. It's this I'm rolling up on. Oh my. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> That's a nice bin. I think this has been out here for a while because it's been rained on. So if it's been out here a while, probably the good stuff has been grabbed. Is that Scooby-Doo? Scooby, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Oh, is that a baby baseball bat? That is a charge. Yep. a drumstick officer <laughs> a little bit of mail and a tackle box full of water yeah it was raining super hard yesterday Some more metal. I should have seen this before, but I didn't. <laughs> D-I-N-T, dint. I'll bet Olivia would like this. Fetch. fit cool yeah he normally has a massive trailer that he has all right so I got started a little bit late so it's 758 hey that rhymed yield sign so I am going to pick up this operation in the morning All right, so it's 7.58, the sun just went down. So I'm gonna zigzag all the way back to my house. And uh, most likely we're gonna pick up this operation in the morning. Good morning. Oh, there's a little piece of metal I still gotta take out. <laughs> yeah, let's go find some stuff.
I think right here. Hung Kung Fui. Yeah, it worked. G-Man. They are out in force. I saw two trash mans. Hey, there's another one. I have about 40 light bulbs at my house. These look nice. A couple of the LED types. Oh. be back for that cord yeah I definitely don't buy any light bulbs anymore I haven't in a few years yeah it worked you're being kind of loud blah I know huh He's getting closer. All right, I might need to forego getting those light bulbs out right now. Yeah, there's the garbage down right there. All right, I'm gonna grab the piece of metal, snip this lamp. Get out of here. No time to lose. No time to loose. Hmm. Yeah, that's some metal right there, bro. There's bed frames. Ooh, you're not helium steel at all. No way. That is significantly. Ooh. Hey, G Mans. A new workbench. So garbage, garbage man. I think he has to be recycled, dude, doesn't he? Let's see if it's a light blue lid or a... yeah, okay, he's recycled, dude. Hi, good morning. How are you? Uh, yes? This uh, is lock in home. It's five what? Five minutes lock in this. Oh, the, the lock? Yeah, five okay. minutes you go, okay? Okay, okay, thank you. Hello, good morning. You know what? I'll bet I can get this guy's can. Oh, you got it? Okay. All right, man, thanks. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this.
for the snap tool. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> I think this is two beds. Now, yesterday when I was out here, because it's the same neighborhood I drove last night, there was a for sale sign on this. It said $50 for two beds. Place displays. Oh, that's glass. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is a heater. It's a uh, get in my truck. That's a fruit tree of some sort. Nice corn. Hey, not too shabby. They even took the light bulbs out. Snap tool 2024 beta. Metal ain't trash. It's actually infinitely recyclable. Yeah, unlike plastic, it can just be melted down because it's a, it's an element. Um, what side here? Neither, I guess. Yeah, it's a, uh, you know iron and aluminum and copper and zinc it's all it's an element you know yeah it can just get made into a bed frame and then a car door and then a bed frame again and just forever and ever i just heard on the radio that today is national work from home day now you tell me nice chairs Hmm. Yeah, they don't look very stackable. 
I'm about to figure something out here. Yeah, so speaking of working from home, I uh, I made a couple short videos. Um, so in with YouTube, you can make short uh, one minute videos. Uh, actually, the maximum is one minute. And so what I did is I took a snippet of a couple of videos that, that I liked, um, old videos, and I just made a you know, little one minute snippet of it and I posted it and someone's like hey is there something wrong this video is only one minute long and I'm like that's all it's allowed for a vertical video you're only allowed um one minute so yeah, that's what that's all about that's what I can do from for the work from home day next year That's not a real plant. You can't trick me. I'm on to you. Huh. What's all that noise? Seriously, it's that ticking sound. <laughs> Something over here. Come on. I guess it's paper snap now. What I want to do is make some room for that stuff. Hmm. go up there without being dangerous? I think it can. Ooh. There we go. We good. Rusty, kind of like me. Not too bad. Uh-oh, they just let Rufus out. Good morning. Stackable, huh? Yeah, let's try it. Couldn't help myself. I had to stop, take a look. That's pretty cool. Wow. This, the bridge is pretty cool too. I like the reflection of the water. And the brickwork.
Hey, there's a fish. I see two fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't want to get yourself a copyright strike, plaw. Almost missed this. As I was driving past, I saw there was a little something something. Card table. All right, where are you going? Huh. Yeah, this <laughs> definitely got beat up. <laughs> it's probably a scrapper trying to fold it. And I thought it was a refrigerator. It's not, it's a couch. Man, I got tricked. This is the telltale sign of a street sweeper. See the little muddy tracks going around the garbage cans? Yep, there he is right up there. Let's get him. My scrap is singing to me back there. Hear the squeaking? They're singing. Sometimes there's some good stuff in this cul-de-sac. Oh, let's not get in a wreck. I'm doing a U-turn because I want to see that street sweeper again. It's like a three-wheel contraption. Let's check them out. This is a metal chair or a wood chair. Ooh, you're looking wood. Yep, you're wood. Not a bad chair. What's going on here? Are they painting? I think they are. Okay, I won't drive on the fresh paint. All right, this is the pile that I saw last night. And it looks like a scrapper did get that metal frame. So, okay. Before I hit the scrapyard, I'm going to put the stuff that was on the truck back on the truck. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting ready to hit the scrapyard. But Olivia wanted to go out first. I'm like, okay. I was just talking with the mailman. And he says there is some other scrap over here. Um, 214, I think you said. Is it 214? So I guess 214 would be this way. It's like a, is that what he was talking about? That's 243, but that's metal. Maybe he said 243. I don't know. Yes, I'm leaving the truck running. It's rare, but I do that. Also, I had this at my house. I turned in 50 bucks worth of aluminum the other day. And uh, this was not aluminum. No, it looks like it, feels like it, smells like it, but it ain't. Hello. man also said on the entrance to the Elwood house there's a pipe I'm like what that's the entrance to Elwood house I don't see any pipe bro hmm. all right 
So this is still that same entrance to the Elwood house. I'm just going from a different angle here. I don't see any metal pipes. Maybe he's talking about that entrance. Yeah, there's two entrances. So this is the Elwood historic um, neighborhood. And so it's a huge house right here. Is there a pipe over here? Those are sticks. So, I don't know. I don't see anything. Huh. Alright, let's go hit the scrapyard. Why do they have a big old front loader at my favorite dumpster area? Oh, no way! They're cleaning up the dumpster area. That is beyond cool. Seriously. So this is a public dumpster area. Yeah, they're scrubbing it down. That's good stuff right there. How full is it? Not very full at all. It looked pretty wet though from because it rained so hard yesterday. But it's not raining today, hence that airplane flying above us. All right, I see zeros on the scale. I'm gonna hope for 7,000 pounds. All right, and 7,040 pounds. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, mailman. For hooking me up with that extra few pounds. I think she she acknowledged me. I'm thinking that's that's the sign that I can. Whoa! That's, those are all radiators, rads. Yeah, it hasn't dried from the sun yet. Let's see in the corner. How's that? Lake Scraptastic. Sorry, that's all I got. <laughs> it's as, as funny as I can get. What you looking at? Oh, that's the, that's the scrap pond right there. Faux aluminum. There's some aluminum up there. For sure. I should untie first, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna untie this real quick. Should have recorded that. I was able to successfully have my rope not land in the mud. Hey, hey, what's going on? I'm gonna lift this gate up a little more. Hang on, hang on. Watch your foot, there you go. All right.
thank you for the help. I can take it from here. I got it from here if you like. I'm good. Thank you. I don't want this stuff landing on them. Because it will. When scrap attacks. Never turn your back on the scrap. Chicken kick. That's not a bad window protector right there. I'm just saying. I'm gonna say, just in case someone wants it. That's the dumpster ladder plaw. That'd be a good ladder too. Little hooks. Should I try it? <laughs> it's kind of quiet. Seriously. Superman colors. So I'm gonna guess 400 pounds of scrap. Uh oh, I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Yeah, I'm gonna guess um, that my way in is gonna be 6,600. Ooh, he's almost not on the scale. Almost. So he's 44,000 pounds. Yeah, he's only halfway there. Because they can go up to 80,000. 40 tons. Yeah, there's a big truck right behind me too. Yeah, they're moving some metal, that's for sure. And the survey says... 4,600, no way, 4,600 exactly. Wow, all right, so that's 440 pounds. 440 pounds, okay. Yeah, he fits on the scale just fine. I'll bet this one's 75,000 pounds. And, no, huh, 4,400, 44,440 pounds, so he's empty. Hello, hello. I'm Paul. How are you? I'm good. Should I do the strap and pallet? Mm-hmm, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You enjoying this perfect weather out there? Yeah, it's not that hot today. No, it's not. 
It was almost chilly this morning when I got up. Cool. Thank you. All right. I'll see you later. Mm. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this perfect day. <sighs> thank you for your perfect will. Thank you for your perfect love. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for caring. Thank you for... Thank you for recycling me not just leaving me out there <sighs> thank you god sometimes i i don't know what to say i love you i like you god i just uh, want to be a part of your what you're up to sometimes i just don't know what to say <sighs> i can sit back and just think and, and try to meditate on what you want me to do. Basically be in receive only mode. Can I do that sometimes, God? <sighs> Thank you. Love you, God. In the name of the son that you sent, Jesus, amen. All right, what do we got going on here? So, 440 pounds at five and a half cents a pound, $24.20. Yep. And that's 440 pounds of recyclable metal that didn't make it into the landfill. I like that. You know what else I like? Your bumper stickers. Thank you for sending them. I have a, I don't know, like 10 more that I need to put on. So uh, yeah, thanks for that. So I got these. Also some original artwork yeah <laughs> someone sent me the quarters only so i put that right here i, I think it's funny <laughs> i love that stuff yeah i think i'll put the quarters only over here too uh, i accept quarters i like quarters amongst change it's my favorite and amongst everything else you're my favorite it is so nice out i'm gonna go on a bike ride you want to go on a bike ride with me? Have you met uh, Donna, the tank? What's up, Donna? So this is the Egyptian theater right here. I don't think that is scrap. I can almost guarantee it's not. Yeah, that's just some out here exercise. I don't know, it's kind of rusted up. I don't know. I'm not messing with it. That's definitely on private property. Now these dumpsters, not so much. So this bike has what they call pedal assist. So I have it on one. So if I pedal, it kicks in on the motor. And then when I stop pedaling, it stops. Also, I can just put on the accelerator too like a motorcycle Just... yeah these are the uh, dumpsters they were cleaning earlier that's cool clean in the dumpster area that should be Cal Public Works because this is a public dumpster you see it says bid number four so yeah people can throw away stuff here if they want to yeah I think it's kind of cool that local municipality has set up uh, I think like five or six dumpster areas it just completely removes the whole illegal dumping thing and yeah if you want to throw something away throw it away I'm not sure if they're free anymore they were for a while these EV charging stations electric vehicle. This is an electric vehicle. Is an electric bicycle. So this used to be called the gaming goat. It's 
called. There's fun in store now. Let's see if I can go uphill. I'm going 10 miles an hour uphill. 11. Safety second. Fun in store. It's a, it's a gaming store. Here's where I'll just pedal. Yeah, it's so many cookies. I rarely do cookies anymore. But when I do, it'll be insomnia cookies. Yeah. He had a red light. So this is a resale shop. This is actually where Renee and I went on our first date. We went to this resale shop and then we went to the Thai Pavilion and had Thai food. I love Thai food. Yeah, it might, yeah, it's my favorite. Absolute favorite. Kid stuff. Resale shop. This used to be a wireless place. I guess it still is. Changed names. And here is the Aurora Music, which is the local music store. There's two uh, music shops, but they don't open until 2 p.m. And it's like 11 a.m. right now. Guitar and bass repair. Roar. Tattoo shop, lawyers. And we're right back to Donna over here. What's up, Donna? How you doing? Bagel shop. So, when I first moved here, I don't know, like six years ago? Seven years ago? This was an old building that was condemned. And they rebuilt it completely. So, three... Well, it's four stories all told, but the top three are all really nice apartments. Now, this is a very, very walkable downtown. Right, let's see how fast I can go on the sidewalk. All right, I'm going 10, 11, 12, 13. Slow it down there. Plaw. Yeah, so those are the parking spots for the tenants here. This used to drive all the way through because this is another dumpster area. But they have blocked it off. They denied the dumpsters. Go check out the dumpster area. Punch it. 13, 14, 15 miles an hour, 16, 17. This is bin number two of our local area. I found a lot of stuff in this bin area. It's mostly, um, yeah, if not all, um, commercial. So I found commercial freezers and all kinds of stuff. Now, right now, there's a local issue going on with this building. Um, my buddy Joe owns it, and the city wants it. So they're in, uh, they're in, they're actually disputing it because the city wants it to turn into a parking lot but it's an old 1880s building and it was the first um, barbed wire factory in the united states they made barbed wire here and, um, and this is called the barb city uh, like decalb is known as the barb city the high school teams are called the barbs <laughs> yeah 
And this is where it was, uh, this is where it was all made. My buddy Joe and his brother Dan own it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's old. Yep. But the city wants to turn it into a parking lot. And Dan and Joe, um, I think they, they want to sell it. But they're just not in agreement. I mean, I'll, I'll exaggerate here, um, but you'll get my exaggeration. That so that's City Hall right there, and the city wants this as the parking lot basically for City Hall. And so let's say, yeah, see the fire the fire chiefs walking into City Hall there, and that's the building compliance car and yeah. Anyway, they don't really have enough parking. So, here's my exaggeration. The city wants a parking lot. He wants to sell it. But the city's like, okay, well, you want to sell it? How about if I buy it for $10? And Joe's like, I don't want to sell it for $10. I want to sell it for more. And like, all right, how about $20? We'll pay you $20 for your building. And he's like, no, I got, I have tenants in here. I'm running my company out of here. Um, I, I, I want, let's say I want a jillion dollars for it. And the city's like, no, I don't want to pay you a jillion dollars for it. We want to pay you ten dollars. And they're like, no, we want a jillion. They're like, no, we only want to give you ten. So that's the exaggeration that I'm given right now. But in essence, that's what's going on. So this, this was the first barbed wire uh, building uh, in the country to make that stuff, which I'm not a big fan of this stuff. Actually, when I was a kid, um, me and my friend. Uh, Tommy, we're riding our bikes, and um, we didn't see barbed wire going across this one road, and he got clipped right in the lip. He knocked him off of his bike, he had a bunch of stitches, it was horrible, and I was there for that. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of barbed wire. I think there's other means that we can use to keep people away from certain areas. I want to hear something even more funny about this building right here. Oh, I don't want to fall in that little hole there. So this is the other side of this same building, this barbed wire building. So true story, I'll just say it like it is. I have two neighbors. I'm, uh, one's across the street neighbor, one's a side me neighbor. Um, one is Joe that owns this building here. He's my neighbor. The other neighbor that I have is a city councilman. Yep. So <laughs> them wanting this building and I'm friends with both of them. I talk with both of them every chance I get. Um, I've been friends with them before I even knew about this building. And uh, but I see I see both sides of it. Um, I see the city wanting to um, utilize this building, but also I see this building as it belongs to somebody. You know, my friend Joe owns this building. It's his. He has a business running out of it. Um, and. Also, I see the city. This is the city, um, the city hall. Yeah, that's what it's called. That's city hall. And so I see what they would want this to level this building. Yeah, see, there's 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 tenants in this building. So, and it's right next to the railroad tracks. Um, but some people look at this building on this side. They're like, hey, there's a tree growing out of it. So it's a brick building. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. This is not a, it's not a condemned building. It's not even unsafe. It's, it's just an old building. So, yeah, they're, they're my neighbors, both of them. And they're both cool people. They are. They have diametrically opposed opinions. One thing I do like is there's a whole bunch of brick roads here. Yeah. So we can go. Speed limit is 25. I'm going 20, 21, 22, uh, 23, 24, 24.6. Uh oh. I heard someone just yell my name. I don't know. Is they yelling my name or just yelling? 
What's up? I'm just jealous. I said slow down. Oh, okay. Was that going too fast? <laughs> oh, no, it looks like fun. That, no offense. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool, man. I made it to 24.8. That's it? Yeah. It That's seemed like. Pretty? Yeah, the speed limit is 25, but I was like trying as hard as I could to get to 25. I'm gonna try. Oh, that looks like fun. All right. I'm not, no, no okay. Right All right, I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> All right, so I guess he wasn't calling me. All right. All right. Let's see if I can do it again. All right, no cars coming. All right. All right. 60, 70, 22, 23. Thanks for hanging out with me. You're awesome. Remember to be awesome and stay awesome and do your thing. Be you. I'm being me. That's for sure.